since the time I have become a mother, as a mother, I have a lot of expectation from myself. That goes for your mother and that goes for the soil and the planet. I must tell you a joke, all right? And they did all kinds of things and the child came alive in a few minutes. If you sow death into it, it bursts out with life. Sadhguru, I have recently become a mother. I feel since the time I have become a mother, I have even, you know, my connection with Mother Earth, with nature, there are so many, uh, in, you know, you become more intuitive with Mother Earth, with so many things, with life. And I feel like now, you know, as a mother, I have a lot of expectation from myself. And at the same time with Mother Earth also, there is a lot of expectation and we keep thinking that it will keep giving us uh, unconditional love. But somewhere I feel depleted as a mother, so I'm sure our Mother Earth, because we are talking about Save the Soil, is feeling depleted too. I wanted to know your thoughts on that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Neither our mother's love for us, nor uh, the earth's compassion for us is unconditional, far less conditions than other relationships with your mother. But still there are conditions. Hello? What are you saying? There are conditions much less. Nothing is unconditional, we need to understand this. That goes with the planet. You can't just be doing whatever you want and think it'll take care of you. That goes for your mother too. You can't be doing whatever you want and think she will always be taking care of you. Both mother and planet Earth, there is a limit. We should never cross that limit. See, when we sit here, we are complete by ourselves. As we grow, as we become strong, just like I don't need anybody. But we were born of another person, all right? It's very hard to think how I was like this, how helpless, no, absolutely helpless life. If she threw you out like this, it's over. Absolutely helpless life, isn't it? Today we are on our feet capable of many things, doesn't matter what, it's that base which has propelled us to be who we are right now. That goes for your mother and that goes for the soil and the planet. Doesn't matter whether you're taking off to space, but even the spacecraft has been dug out of the planet. I must tell you a joke, all right? Okay? Okay. With the mask on, you all look so serious, so I'm just trying to get it <laughs> On a certain day, in 2016, certain scientists asked for an appointment with God. They got it and they went there. Then they told God, Hey man, hey old man, you've done pretty well with creation. But uh, everything that you can do, we can also do now. So it's time you retire. A lot of people are telling me this. <laughs> so God looked at them and said, Oh, is that so? What is it that you can do? So they dug out some soil, made a rough image of a child, of a human child. And they did all kinds of things and the child came alive in a few minutes. Made sounds like that one <laughs> And God looked at this and said, that's pretty impressive, but first get your own soil <laughs> The soil is the most magical material not on the planet, in the universe. Because what you call as a worm has come out of it, what you call as an insect has come out of it, 
what you call a tree has come out of it, the birds have come out of it, animals have come out of it, even the elephant came out of it, you and me came out of it. And this is the only and only magical place on the planet. If you sow death into it, it bursts out with life. Show me one place in the universe where you can throw death and it will burst out as life. This is the only place. You bury something dead here, you will see how life will sprout around that, hmm? I… you know, about a week ago, somebody's… Uh, there is an opportunity, I'm telling you, that somebody has started a business. If you pay 1.7 million dollars, when you die, whenever that is, they will take your body and leave it in the space. Because in the space there is no oxygen and there are no microbial life, your body will not rot, it'll be the same way. For millions of years, it will float around hoping that some spacecraft will pick them up one day <laughs> Debris, <laughs> human debris. Well, people are trying to make such businesses which are rooted in uh, a tremendous amount of ignorance and arrogance. The body that we carry is the soil that we walk upon. If you don't do anything significant, if you don't do anything eco-friendly in your life, at least when you die, put the damn thing back. That much you can do, at least that one eco-friendly thing one can do, isn't it? No, you want to leave it in space or you want to wrap it in a box, in a metal box and keep it. No, this has come from the soil, it has to go back. <laughs>